Hey there, friends, and welcome to the pilot episode of Master Study Design. I'm your host, Caleb Sylvest, and what we'll be doing is recreating works of the masters. If you're not from the fine arts world, you may not know what a master study is. And what it is, is when you would paint or draw or sculpt based on the works of the masters, like Da Vinci or Van Gogh, etc., and learn from how they work so you'd learn from their techniques. So my thoughts here were taking that concept and moving it into what we do day to day in our field of design. And so starting off looking at some people's work um, and recreating it. So for this first episode, I'm looking at a design by my friend Ronnie Johnson. This is something that he designed for fun and posted on Dribble a while back. We're going to recreate it from the top. My goal is to is to do this entire episode in less than 20 minutes. I have a clock running, so I'm just going to have to get zooming as fast as I can. So first things first, let's go ahead and block out these areas for the hero. Make that, that sound, let's see, my artboard size, yeah, 250. Um, I've already set up my grid system based on Ronnie's design. So I have that, uh, that looks about right. Let's pull this down. Let's see, 875, that sounds good. Let's just darken this one up a bit. Uh, and then a larger section. It's around, let's just make it 1200. Another large section. And okay, double. I, just got, I should just turn all these borders off. I don't know why I have borders turned on. So then I have a double pane section of just images. That looks good. Okay, so, yep, okay. I'll just go ahead and make that white for the footer. Okay, so we have the basics building blocks mocked up. So let's move in here for the hero section. Let's make that white. Um, I have two demo images, one at a low opacity, so I can turn that on to get an idea, get an idea of what that's going to look like. Okay, so, and here's my back, let's see, where's my background for the hero right there. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and group that into a hero section at the top. And, okay, so I've already grabbed some of the images and items that I'm gonna use for this. Uh, some of them are exactly what Ronnie used and some of them I couldn't quite find the same image or same resolution. So let's see if I can get it looking pretty good with the images that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can select this and let's get this. So somewhere around there, I'd already resized it a little bit, so that looks about right. Then we're gonna wanna mask this item so that it doesn't um, go bleed into the next section. Okay. Let's go ahead and make, oops, let's lock that, lock that so I can it doesn't interfere. Let's go ahead and start making some of this type. Um, so I don't know exactly what typeface Ronnie is using. I think I know what it is. I think it's uh, Gotham. Let's make that larger. So it still needs to be larger. I actually made a couple headline styles already in my in sketch. So let's use those. There we go. 
block that image so we don't mess with that. Okay. Oh, I moved the whole hero section. That's what happened. All right, so let's pull this down. I already made a body type style as well. So that looks pretty good. It's not exact, but it'll do. Let's grab these numbers. This is very expensive. That's a fact. Um, let's try this one, see if that, there we go. Turn all fix it, auto. Walnut. Okay, this isn't body paragraph, so I'm just gonna undo that. And eyeball it between. Oh. That looks good. So about 22. Um, let's make some buttons. Let's see. We're at, we have 12 minutes left. This is taking longer than I expected. Let's check that demo. Let's, let's grab that color. Actually, I know I already did. So I already. Um, grab some of the colors that I needed so I wouldn't have to waste time doing that. Actually, I think I'm using this one for the buttons. So, height. Wow, it's really tall. Let's just make that 300. And let's give it a little bit of border radius. Okay, got interrupted for just a second. So let's go back to this. I think we're gonna need Gotham. So my Gotham files are messed up for some reason. I don't know why. And they, instead of it just being grouped as one font family, they're split up by weight. Um, let's make that white. Then let's center it. Then let's pull it up here. Grab both of these. Okay, the text looks a little bold just compared to what Ronnie did, but I'm just gonna go with it for now. We're racing the clock. Um, let's pull that over here. We won't need a fill, let's turn on a border color. Did I already grab that? I think I like the dark. I don't know if that's based on what Ronnie did or not. But grab this. Actually, what I'm going to do, is, there we go. Now let's see what the spacing between these are. Okay, so I think I can add 10 and then see what the spacing is. So you need know, a number one. Can't click into it. It's probably underneath it. Just shoot that to the top. Make that. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I was already going through all the colors instead of going through changing the font size. I've set up a bunch of shortcuts. Um, that I can use to change font sizes or, or align things. That's really what you need to do because using the, the, the WYSIWYG editors just takes way too long, even in this example. Okay, okay where's that demo? Let's turn that off. Okay, let's, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna leave those as is. Let's go back out here. Okay, so this section is gonna be just an image and some text on top. Uh, sometimes they call images with color over them scrims or overlays. You can call it whatever you like. Let's group that. Okay, so let's take these, we're gonna need a mask it. Grab that image and let's bring the demo up here. So 
so we can get an idea of alignment. Whoa. This is kind of spooky. Okay, let's turn the demo off. That looks pretty good. Now let's add a fill color. Let's use Herman Miller brand red. And then, what, let's see. Oh, that's not what I meant to pick. Probably, no. Probably use something, probably use multiply. That looks about right. Let's check the demo image. Yep. I'm just gonna pull the, this image out here and just go like that. Cause it's not really helping me. Um, being on top too much, so. Let's see what is your what did Ronnie write? A true icon of modern design. Cool. Okay. And that's Gotham. And let's just go ahead and make it really big. Center it. And then let's change the weight to light. Turn make it white. This might even be thinner than that, but I'm gonna. I'm going to leave mine as is. Let's just make this to 20. See how that looks. Okay. And then I'm going to let's see, grab that and then vertically align it. Okay. Good. We're running out of time really fast. Down to five minutes. Okay. I'm just going to call this so like I said this is a pilot episode um, I don't exactly know what it's going to turn into um, I like the idea but I want to make sure that there's a good mix of recreating good projects but also giving enough tips without being boring so I'm not exactly sure where I'm landing on that right now um, but you know, I'll just, I'll just go forward as is right now. So mine, my chair is so yellow compared to this, the one Ronnie used, but um, can't really do much about it right now. So let's see. And heading two. Oh, heading one. Uh, maybe. Seems like, I guess it is a lot larger than up there. Okay, so let's make that a bit bigger. And then we're going to need to increase the line height. Yeah, I like that. Okay, then I'm just going to grab this and pull it over here because. I have three minutes left and because of that reason I'm just going to leave that text as is let's take a look at this section okay actually I can't tell if I'm blowing this up too much where it's starting to pixelate oh well okay there we go let's uh some of these are really easy, so let's get these in. I need to make a hotkey for masking. So I always prefer to mask images than adding images into the shapes just because you get a little bit more control. Oh, yeah, it's not the same image, so I'm just going to have to use what I got. Okay. And then um, let's try this one or this one. I'm going to have to boil this one up beyond its original size. I think I'm going to darken it just a tad to add black over it then whatever the opacity I don't know I'll have to come back to that 
And there's text on top of that. I'm just going to grab these. Whoa, that line height looks off now that I'm here. Looking at it from a distance. Okay. Send through those. Send them both to white. That'll do. I could work on that more. Okay, I'm down to one minute. Definitely not going to be able to do the footer or anything like that, but I think you can handle that on your own because you designers are some smart cookies. Um, one thing I am going to do, I actually was working on this before and trying to get an understanding of what I was going to be doing. So I'm just going to sneak in here and steal this nav bar that I'd already made. There we go. Uh, there's my buttons. Um, okay, so what do I need to do? Oh, let's get these little images. So these are like some certificates of some sort. Or, uh, yeah, certificates or promises based on... Okay, there we go. So in our last seconds, let's, uh, let's take a look at, at what we got. And compare the two. So here's the original design by Ronnie Johnson. And then if I hide that, you can see the comparison to what I just threw together pretty quickly. And uh, but you you can get start to get the idea of how professional designers think about a product page and choose to lay things out. So you know Ronnie went with the strong imagery uh, and with clean typography and the banded sections to explain the product. Um, I think it looks really good. If it, this was a real product page, you would need a lot more content beyond just images for selling the product and explaining you know, some of the benefits and, and details behind it but this is a great first step. Um, thank you for watching this first episode of Master Study Design. Please you know, subscribe and, and you'll get the latest updates on when new episodes come out. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think about this idea of Master Study Design, what you're interested in seeing. Just is, is this helpful? Is this a good idea? Is this something I should continue with? or even make suggestions for designs that you think that you would like to see recreated and learn a little bit of the process behind how people make things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.